nervous system, which is called the autonomic nervous system, controls all body mechanisms. And sometimes through stress and trauma, that can become compromised. So we end up with um, chronic illnesses. So Bowen can help so many things because, number one, it um, calms down the nervous system and then it recorrects the nervous system. So things that we find that a lot of um, illnesses or conditions that haven't been able to be, be resolved, like um, knee issues or a shoulder injuries that just seems to be persisting, what happens is that Bowen sort of treats the body holistically and then at the same time calms the nervous system so that it can do what the body knows what to do. So sort of like it stimulates self-healing. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And I see uh, remarkable things in my clinic every day, uh, in particular with, um, you know, people suffering with, you know, sleep disorders, stomach issues, um, you know, PTSD, ADHD, those kind of things that are nervous system related. Okay. And the, the story behind Barham, Barham Therapy, tell us about that, the, the man who basically came up with the idea. Sure. His name was Tom Bowen and he was born in Geelong. Um, he was born in 1916 and died in 1982. Um, he was a person that, he was an ordinary Australian bloke. Um, he was working at the cement works at the time and um, he was sort of the first aid guy and everyone went to him. I suppose he had a natural gift, but then he developed that over time because his wife um, had severe asthma. So he sort of tried to find out things that would help um, her asthma. And then he loved sports. So he was really involved with training and then um, treating a lot of people with sports injuries. It kind of grew from there. Obviously, he did a lot of, ta uh, he had a, you know, talent, but then he, he was just a genius in that he researched a lot and trial and error. So there were a lot of guys at the time, they were called muscle men that used to, um, you know, deal with sport injuries and they would just like talk to each other and help each other. So I think it was this process of learning and, um, he was also like deaf. So I think he was really connected with um, his other senses and, and feeling. And so, um, you know, at the peak of his career, should I say, he was treating 13,000 people a year. And, and there was a government inquiry about him uh, because he was never officially recognised as, a, as a, you know, a, a professional sort of therapist given a name. But in that time, that was the way of things and osteopathy was slowly going through the right channels to get recognition. So he's this remarkable man and the therapy has spread to, um, I don't know, how many countries is it, Sean? Oh, Something it's all over like, the world now. Well, there's 65,000 therapists and it's spread pretty much to, uh, I think, at least 20 countries. And, and this is only in the space of like less than 40 years yeah. since yeah. it actually started to develop into a a proper thing. So it's just growing. Yeah, so in other countries, we're actually a little bit behind because in um, um, in Europe, um, in Eastern Europe, Sweden, in America, in England, it's really taking off and, and a lot of um, they're working in, in um, hospitals and it's, it's a lot more recognised and becoming mainstream. So I suppose this was the next step um, that it needed to uh, further its evolving, you know. Mm. So, and I guess this is where, because you, you know, believed in it, you wanted to spread the word. And this is where you, you got your brother involved to yeah. make a make a documentary slash movie. Yes, actually, we were filming a little trailer for her her business, and that's when I started to ask questions. Well, who actually like? Where did this actually come from? And the moment she said it was an Australian guy, I was like, "What? An Australian guy created something that's being used by all these people around the world." And then when I went to the conference with her and saw how big it was, I was like, wow, this is an amazing Australian story that needs to be shared with Australia and the world. So I've, I've, I actually saw the, uh, the trailer and we, we played that this morning and you've got quite a few people talking about their experiences. How did you get it all together? I mean, I know you're in editing mode at the moment. That must be a nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare because there's so much footage and so many people telling their incredible stories and trying to pick the right ones and piece it together to keep that story flow is 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 a nightmare it's challenging but it's also really rewarding and fun as you start to see it coming together now it's starting to come together and it's looking really beautiful and it explains really well probably better than it's ever been explained before how bone therapy works and as you can tell it's, it's not the most easiest thing to explain but it's such an incredible therapy mm. 
Yeah. And look, the more we're learning, like medical science is researching what's called fascia, and we're talking a lot about that in sport, in yoga. Um, we're finding that we're understanding more what, what this fascia is, which is soft tissue and what it's like the architecture of the body. And, and they're finding now, before, you know, doctors used to just like really, it was insignificant, but now they're finding that... Um, you know, the, the fascial health really determines a, a body's health and that it's actually the largest sensory organ in the body, that um, messages are, are, are being sent through this system, like the communication network, 10 times faster than through the nervous system itself. So we're learning more and more, which, tell us, which kind of creates that grounding for us to understand how Bowen is actually working and mm. why it's so um, successful. When, when can we expect the, the actual documentary to come out? It'll come out at uh, end of 2020. We'll have our first screening and then sometime it'll be, sometime it'll be more released to the public in probably 2021. And, and you're saying to me off air that you're looking at trying to get some, some paid actors to become part of the film? That's right, because there's such amazing stories there, especially about Tom's life. And, you know, this guy was an amazing person. He didn't, tr- like, he didn't charge for a lot of his clients. or Anyone disabled, he wouldn't charge. A lot of um, people like politicians and other things like that, he wouldn't charge. And people that he respected in the public, he didn't charge. And people who couldn't afford it. And as Helen mentioned, 13,000 patients, that's 60 patients a day. Yeah, that's and a lot. Think about that number. That's yeah. massive. Yeah. Um, and so, well, sorry, what was your question? <laughs> Got sidetracked. <laughs> well, that's a, when's, it, when's it due to, to come out? Yeah, yeah. So, so 2020 or 2021, probably to early 2021, it should yeah. be released on a platform where people will be able to see it. Yeah. Have any of the TV networks spoken to you about it or have they picked up the stories about Bowen Therapy? To be honest, we've been so caught up with actually filming it because it's really been, uh, we've been doing it on a complete budget. And so it's it's been really, uh, Sean and I have taken on this massive project and and so we still haven't really had that time, but we're, we're looking at about doing that, yeah. Yeah, so it's just the two of you doing the, the whole thing. We've also had the support of organisations, um, the Bowen Therapy organisations yeah. in Australia that have helped us with that. And then yeah. crowdfunding all the people in yeah. yeah. therapy. Yeah. They, the a lot, so many people are so passionate about it because most of the people that are actually therapists have been healed by it themselves. That's how they learn about it. And so those, these people, like, you know, their lives have been transformed. So they've been happy to support and fund us out. Yeah. Like, but as far as filming and, and editing, it's just the two of you? Just the two of us no, and a couple sometimes. of crew members. Yeah. Right. Okay. But mostly couple it's just mates. the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> just give them a beer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be right. <laughs> Well, guys, look, it sounds amazing. How can how can we learn more about Bowen Therapy? Is there a website? Is there a Facebook page? Um, I've got a, a very basic website that really needs to be improved, but there's the Bowen Association of Australia and Bowen Federation of Australia. And really, and if you jump online and Google it for any condition, you can punch in whatever you've got and then... Um, it'll come out. Look, there's research done about that. You can also check out starmaxfilms.com and also our Facebook page, which is These Two Hands, the Bowen Therapy documentary. All right, yeah. and you can have a have a look at... Oh, what... There's video trailers yeah. and stuff like that that will explain it a little bit more. Fantastic. And you can follow the film as well, the progress. Yeah, you know, look, looking forward to it. Well, guys, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Much really appreciate it. And uh, stay in touch and let us know when it all gets released. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. No worries. Thanks for the opportunity. Sean and Helen Dobra, of course, uh, these two hands, the Bowen Therapy, um, talking to us this morning at 21 past eight. Your local, your community, your radio, 103.1.